using the service. Okay, fine. Uh, thank you so much. Thanks everyone. Thanks for joining in the call. Uh, here we are. Uh, we are back again with another webinar for TMI community. Uh, today's webinar is on velocity reading. Uh, Rupak Shah is our speaker. Rupak is uh, a great friend of mine. We know each other for almost seven years now, Rupak. And, uh, yeah, five, six years. Five, six, five, five years, years for sure. For sure. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, look, he's an expert who has developed uh, research and developed techniques on speed reading. Uh, the name of his technique is velocity reading. Uh, Rupak has been professionally conducting uh, classes for this uh, techniques as well. And uh, he also has got another startup, which is in incubation. The name of the startup is Arnor. And Rupak would also share uh, more information about his other ventures in uh, while he introduces himself. Uh, but I am a fan of Rupak because of his uh, reading technique and the kind of stories he shares on WhatsApp. He also uh, has got the WhatsApp group uh, wherein he shares uh, I mean, inspirational stories uh, at, at a regular interval. So, Thanks everyone, thanks for yeah. joining and uh, I welcome you Rupert, over to you. Yeah, thank you so uh, one, much. One, one, uh, one yeah. uh, mandatory announcement from my side, this webinar is being recorded. In case if anyone has got any uh, reservations against the recording, uh, you may kindly leave the webinar now. Thank you so much. Awesome. Welcome everyone. I hope you are able to see me or you are still trying to figure out ye Google uh, Meet mein kahan pe hai, ye banda kahan pe hai, because I am from two different devices. Uh, my audio might pop up uh, at top. So I would request uh, Chintan to make sure that my video gets uh, pinned at the top. So Chintan, can you please do that? Yeah, sure. Sure, yeah. I'll do that. Till that time, I would love to know, I had shared a few video links with you all. How many of you Okay, got a chance or got a time or uh, at least went through a couple of videos. Can you just type yes in the comment section if so, anyone uh, has? Yeah. Uh, Rupak, you will have to put on uh, uh, your video because both the devices saying that the video is off. Um, my video is off. I don't think so. One, it's on. Yeah, not yet. Went through a couple of videos. I'm getting. Uh, are you able to find me, Shantan? Not yes, sure, I have but found, surely. So I am looking at the participant list and then I am not able to see that. Learn or okay. it should not be Rupa, it should be Learn or. Ah, yes, now it is. Okay. Got yeah. it. Okay, so I hope everyone should be able to see your so video we, now. Yeah. Are you able to see my video? Type yes, type yes, type yes. Come on, come on, come on. Quick, 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 quick. So the chat section out there. It's going to be a very active session, even though it's 60 minutes, it might feel a lot because I'm going to be highly energetic. I want that same engagement level. So trust me, it's going to be not a session when you can sit back, relax and see that is happening. If that is the case, that is what you want. We have Firefly's AI who is making the recording and you can just relax and let it do its own work. But here, yes, you can see a lot of people are able to see it. No video, no video. Chintan, can you make sure that they're able to see it? Okay, uh, so I would request all to kindly put off their video and then uh, Rupert's video will automatically pop up. No, 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 it, it won't do that because my audio is from different device. So uh, if you're not able to do it, just give me a minute. I will switch to the same device if you want that. So uh, till that time, I would just uh, love to understand in just one word what happens. Okay, what happens when you try to read? Do you feel sleepy or do you read good? Whatever the challenge is, just let me know quickly what is your exact challenge so that uh, we have some time at the end. I will try to answer and when I'm going through the session throughout, I would love to do it in that way.
comprehending about his trying to say in the first three pages of the difficult challenges retention and focus uh chinta is it now helpful i'm from same device for both of you so yes i am so here able to see you yeah focus it depends on the subject concentration i guess everyone is engaging so much thank you so much i would love to read everyone throughout the session now um just quickly okay what we are going to do is uh, how many of you feel sleepy or boring many people have written that they feel sleepy while reading they feel boring they feel concentration in here etc etc okay few people feel sleepy any time okay so the technique won't help to them but there are few people who only feel sleepy while reading for them we are going to do a beautiful exercise that will help you to get your concentration back are you all ready are you all ready awesome 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 okay let's see out here what i want you to do is uh first of all get your both hands free okay keep the device aside if it's a phone keep it aside just get the audio and the video because you will also have to see me this exercise trust me will make sure that you are not feeling sleepy while reading would you allow that to get a short 30 second exercise that will make sure you are awake while reading you are awake for without reading any activity you are feeling boring you should be able to do it so yes quickly what i want you to do is point your finger straight in this manner point your finger straight in this manner go on go on go on don't shy away don't shy away point your finger in this manner and thumb in this manner perfect perfect finger in this manner thumb in this manner the moment i say switch we do exact opposite of it and do this switch switch ah oh, few people are able to do it few people not able to let it focus focus on switch switch so this is a beautiful exercise what happens is during a lot of video calls when everyone has put the camera on and when they are not able to do this exercise they close their videos and that is how i know kitne log acche se kar rahe hain kitne log acche se nahi kar rahe switch 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 Oh, 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 few people are not able to do it. Switch. Okay, switch. So, can we do this exercise? Simple exercise. Can we do it anywhere, anytime? They just yeah, oh, oh, yeah. It's difficult, but trust me, you want to know a simple way on how you can do it easily. You want to know that? Okay, everyone, as simple as that. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. uh don't worry mai kidhar nahi jaane wala chintan is not going to stop the meeting so just close your eyes focus on your finger again get in the same position index finger straight and also thumb and the moment i say switch okay don't cheat don't open your eyes just focus on your fingers focus on your fingers the moment i say switch we do the exact opposite of it and now close your eyes focus your entire concentration on your fingers 3 2 1 switch Three, two, one, switch. Three, two, one, switch. Three, two, one, switch. Three, two, one, and switch. Okay, open your eyes. <laughs> yeah, awesome. So these are very funny exercises. You can go home. Yeah, you're already at home. Uh, you can do it with your kids, do it with your spouses, and trying to see are they able to do it or not. Now the whole question is why we should do it. This are known as brain gym exercises. This are known as so what? If I was you, I would write it down. This are known as brain gym exercises. The video link is already shared with Chintan, so he can also forward it to you. This exercises are designed in such a way that within 30 seconds, within 30 seconds, your focus is back in the present moment. It improves your retention power and it improves your mind-body coordination. Trust me, if you give this exercise to kids, they will do it easily. A lot of times you will not be able to do it because mind-body coordination is getting delayed. You know the thing that Acha Gandhi is not difficult to understand, but when you actually try to do it, your mind-body coordination is not in sync, and that is why a lot of time you tell yourself that you want to focus, but you are not able to do it because your body and mind are not in sync, and this exercise will be able to get in sync. Very clear. These are known as what? Just type it in the comment section so that you remember. These are known as brain gym exercises. Awesome. Perfect. Good one. Con, con, con. Everyone, write it down. I want brain gym, gym, gym. It's not chain. It's gym, gym, gym. It's brain gym exercises. Perfect. 
perfect, 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 perfect. Are you all able to see my screen? Uh, Chandra, is my screen visible for all? Uh, it is about pop up. Yet to come up. Yet to come up. It's still loading. Uh, Google, you are quite slow. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is visible. It is visible now. Awesome. So I'm sure Chetan has shared the name of the workshop. The name of the workshop is Velocity Reading Workshop. Now the vision is to make India read better and we will discuss what I actually mean by better throughout our reading shot. We have got much in the close to 45 minutes, if you're not mistaken. Yes, exactly. Yes, we have 45 hour. minutes to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One hour. One hour. So now uh, let me ask you a very simple question. Okay, uh, this time because I'm on a screen, I would love to hear from an audio perspective. Uh, the main advantage, the main advantage of this workshop or to the next 60 minutes what you're going to spend, it will help you to save some time on daily basis. If you list, if you go to my entire workshop as of four hours, that it will help you uh, to save at least 30 minutes on daily basis. Okay. So whenever I say this or whenever I make this claim that it will help you to save 30 minutes daily, there are a lot of people who will be like, my 30 minutes How will you save my 30 minutes? How many of you uh, agree with this that I don't read for 30 minutes? How will you save my 30 minutes with velocity reading? How many of you feel that? Just on your audio and say yes, me, yes, me. Anyone? And now, Rupak, this badge here. Uh, yeah. I normally read for about two hours a day, so 30 minutes is a too big a time for me. If you if you show me the way to save 30 minutes, awesome. I, I, I'll be extremely happy. I'll be extremely awesome. happy. We'll do that, Rachel. But there are a lot of people who have never touched a book out here. I'm sure they are in the session so that in some way they get inspired by you. I want you to share more about you with your members throughout once you go with your uh, journey because that will motivate or inspire people to read more. So all the people who believe that they don't read. So, so yeah. I mean, I, I have uh, one point. Apart from books also, we do read a lot of stuff on the mobile itself. So will this help me? Exactly. Me also? Perfect. Perfect. That is exactly what I'm trying to tell you about. The reading has been long shifted from books. It's on your emails, it's on your WhatsApp, it's on your Facebook. Uh, not young people out here. So if there are young people, I tell to them it's not on Tinder. So apart from that, it's everywhere. Okay, it's on your Facebook, it's on your WhatsApp, it's on your emails. So reading has long been shifted from the hard copy to the soft copies, but still Whenever we feel, whenever we listen or whenever we hear that word, we feel it just about the hard copies. Please change that mindset because trust me, this is going to help you a lot because everyday communication now is going to get replaced by reading where it was listening in the initial book. So trust me, that is why learning the skill set and it's a very simple skill set. Trust me, I have people walk just out of four hours. And they have multiplied their reading speed by 1.25 to 1.5x. And if you practice the techniques for uh, I teach the entire four hour session, trust me, three times is an easy way to go about it. So quickly, what we are going to do in next 40, 40 minutes now, first, we'll understand what exactly is velocity reading. Second, we'll discuss the approach because a lot of time what I feel wrong with us is we read books, we read uh, mails, we read WhatsApp, we read, uh, let's say, Facebook posts, articles, etc. But our approach is same. No matter whatever we read, our approach is, I will start reading from first line, first word. That's it. That's the only approach we have. And 90% of time you feel sleepy, boring or not interested in reading material. It's not because your speed is slow or your attention power is slow. It's because your approach is wrong. You're going in exact opposite way in which your brain is designed to function. So the challenge is approach. Even if I nail that approach right in the next 40 minutes, trust me, you have got more things to go on rather than just speed reading techniques. And of course, techniques to increase your reading speed by 300%. So, and we'll discuss the technique. One technique what we're going to discuss is known as speed drill. 
Okay, that's one which we will discuss. And finally, we'll do a lot of FAQs, whatever you doubts have. So give me a space of 30 minutes. Trust me, I'm going to go faster. So if you're sleeping, trust me, you're going to miss out on important stuff. So that is why I want you to get in a habit of approaching, get your correct body language so that you can see me clearly, you can make notes and give me your 40 minutes and trust me, it will transform your reading. And a lot of you uh, might be having kids and that you can pass this learnings to because if they learn at that stage, trust me, you will add a lot of value because throughout your life, you push them to read more, read more, read more. But why don't you tell them there's a technique of reading also? It's not something that you learn in first, second or third grade because our reading, the process of learning how to read just stop in third or fourth grade. Please, that's not how, that's not where it should be stopped. Let me quickly run through. Hi, uh, audio video clear? Can uh, Chinta just tell me yes if it is? Yes, it is. Perfect. Now, let me tell you the difference between the present reading what you do and velocity reading what you have. So right now, luckily, we have a lot of mature people out here. So you won't call this Maruti 800 car as a vintage car. So our normal reading is like Maruti 800. It's not just about speed. It's about entire experience. Okay, and what I want to transform is your reading experience. That is why I will always start with an approach of how you approach any reading material, what should be the mindset. Because if I make your reading experience better, you're going to read more and more and more. But if I don't approach, or sorry, if I don't improve your interest in reading, trust me, no matter your speed is even thousand words per minute, you're not going to read it. And that is the whole agenda, what I tell you. Velocity reading is more about the approach, more about the feel of reading. And that is something what I want to change. Speed is a part of it. Speed is not the entire part of it. There's a question what I always get, Rupert, do you only talk well or you deliver results too? Now, this is the data what I conduct, uh, collect at the start of the session, at the end of our four hour session. Definitely today is just a version of it. But on an average, this is data of 750 participants. This is just for within four hours, what you can expect. Your initial reading speed on an average comes to 190 and final is close to 260 words per minute. And we track that and we have question answer session where we check how much they are able to understand. Also comprehension stands for understanding. Initial understanding is 60 and final understanding is 70. So that all the people who have this myth, if I read faster, I won't be able to comprehend it. That's true because you're not reading in a fast way in which you are supposed to read. You're reading just randomly faster. So please read in a proper way. If you do it, your reading speed as well as understanding is going to improve and improve and improve. Now, this is a question what I always get. Does the reading speed change as per the age? Uh, in my experience, I haven't seen a major difference. Yes, the only difference you will see, uh, let's say at 20, 25 or even for 10, 15, the reading Time might be more, you might be able to concentrate for two or three hours. I guess with age that might decrease. But when it comes to shorter reading sessions, like what we have for 15 minutes, 20 minutes, we haven't seen a major difference. Because if you see this graph, the progress is equal. The only major change what I get is the medium of a medium of schooling. If people are from different medium except English, we see the difference because the entire session, what I take or order, what I will ask you to read is always going to be on English. So that is why people from English medium have initial at 205, final goes to 280, and for others, they will initially 164 to 18. But if you see the progress is same. Okay, so it's not something that people from English medium will be able to read faster, faster, and faster. Yes, from other medium, you're one step behind, but from a growth wise, it's almost the same. Now this are the pain gym exercise, which we did for. Now, a short introduction. I'm sure Chintan has shared till now out here. I'm taking a pause. Anyone has any questions till now, feel free to ask. We'll just 30 seconds pause. And if you have more questions, I would prefer you write it down and we'll discuss at the end. So, Chintan, any questions in the chat? Yeah. In any way? yeah. So, Rupa, can you just click on the hide button on the center? Oh, sorry. I could hide the pop up. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Ansari is saying audio not very clear. Ansari ji, I hope your network is now better and you are able to uh, hear Rupa clear. Network is fine. Rather, your voice is better than his voice. That way. 
Okay. Um, 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 is um, everyone facing the same challenge? Coming. Some yeah. people. Yeah, Chintan, uh, it's the same thing here also. Network is fine. Your voice is clear. Uh, Rupak, we can okay. hear, but not very clear. Okay. There is some echo, Rupak, I think. Uh, okay, it's so an echo what you're facing. I don't know what is the challenge because it's a very common uh, device. Are you so logged in from two devices by any It's an echo. Mm. It echoes actually. It's echo. Okay. No, I'm not logged in from a couple of devices. I'm logged out from other devices. I guess you are standing in the room and that is how it is happening. Yeah, the open room, perhaps the room size is more yeah, bigger than. Okay, I will try, 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 try without headphones. Yeah, I was saying that uh, maybe headphones. The, the challenge would be without that is I won't be able to listen to you guys. So clear. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. okay uh, what I will do is I will go slower. Is this space better? Yeah. Yes. I will go with this space and this volume itself. Energy might change, but I will try to stick to this volume. Cool. Is it okay? And even this space and this volume. Yeah, this is fine. Better. Yeah. Better. 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 Okay. Perfect. So, uh, so sorry for that. Uh, let's continue from here. Uh, as Chintan already mentioned, my name is Sumitra Shah. By qualification, I completed aircraft maintenance engineering. For all the people who are wondering, I'm not a dropout. I was the topper of the batch, so yes, I completed the course. So uh, that is where I was also working in Air India for some time. And at that time, I realized, okay, this is not for me. And that is time I started reflecting, okay, what should I do in life? And I started randomly meeting a lot of trainers. And then I asked them, okay, what do you do and how the approach is? And they started asking, hey, we need someone to help in our trainings. And that is where I started my training journey, which was supporting a lot of trainers. And that is where I learned a lot of training skills. Because if you see, I'm not a formal trainer who has done trained a trainer or certification from any particular uh, organization. It's more of on job what I have learned throughout it. So train over 8,000 participants and 8,000 participants, I mean, those are adults. I rarely do it for kids, even though velocity reading, we get a lot of requests for kids. But the major uh, audience is adults and a lot of corporates. Uh, this is a slide which just has few, but there are a lot of others where we have done session also. So Chitran said there is one person who reads 200 books a year. I guess I could connect with that person because in fact 2016 I read 29. I read 29 books in 29 days, and I was able to read more than 300 books in 2016. And right now I do not read much. I just read three books per week. So that's the average what I uh, share. So um, that's it. Uh, now, Chintan, let me know, is my audio video good? Yes. Okay. It's, it's better. I would also request fellow participants if we can mute themselves. Uh, so that, that, that we yeah, just... request everyone to kindly keep yourself on mute, please. Thank you. Awesome. So yeah, this is a question I would request you guys to answer in the chat. And can you tell me what is an ideal way to read? You read with understanding first, but do not learn at the same time. Here, learn stands for retention. Okay, Rattaman, retention. Okay, so you read with understanding first, but do not learn at the same time. Second option, you read, understand, and learn at the same time. So, what is the option? What do you select? It should be one, it should be two. One or two. One or two. If you just on your mic, tell me one, two, and go on mute. One or two. Come on, come on, come on. Two, two. Two. We understand two. and learn at the same time. Everyone, two, two, two. Anyone with one? Yeah, Harshad is one. I'm just okay. Jamshid is one. Emang okay. is one. We have Shadia is one. one okay. Awesome. So, any guesses? What will be the right answer? Oh. No, oh, all the people who said it's two, right answer is one. Now, let me tell you how our reading expectations are. Our reading expectations are, no matter what I read, I should read everything in the first go. I should understand everything in the first go. 
I should retain everything in the first go. It's not just about retention. If someone asks me five years, ten years down the line, I should be able to recall everything in first go. So we have the superhuman expectations that understanding, retention, recall, all three should be done together. But let me tell you, that's not how the brain works. That's not how our brain works. Why? Because these are entirely different process. Understanding something is a different process. Ratna manna or pure retention is a pure different process where the concentration is at different level. And recalling, sadly many people confuse retention and recall. Trust me, those two are also different process. Recall requires a different set of approach also. So individually, these are three different steps. Now many people will not agree with me. So if all the people who are skeptic know I should read everything and retain at the same time, let me give you a simple example. Let's say you enter a room, okay? You enter any classroom. What is the first thing you do? Do you start counting the number of inches or the number of chairs? Or you just enter the room, you get the entire view of the room first. Okay, you see where the board is, you see where the projector is, you see where the window is, you see where the chairs are. Of course, you are like a normal person, you will take the overview first. So what we always try to do is whenever we go in any new material, any reading material, we always will have a just first, basic understanding of the material first, and then we go into details. But sadly, majority of our reading is from line one, we just want to get into your details and that is not how the reading process works. So the best approach for reading material is this. Let me share this design with you and I would prefer you make a note of it. So the first is O, okay? It stands for overview. O stands for overview. Then you read, you go into the details and whatever material you find important, whatever line, para, anything what you find is important, you mark it, okay? You mark it and then you start revising them or retaining them based on your expectations or your, uh, I don't know, what is your goal as per that. For some material, I'm sure a lot of you are done with your studies. So word by word, retention is not required. A basic revision should do. So revision or retention. And finally, it's making notes because in the recall process, the notes plays a very vital role. So reading and retention, separate steps. While reading, the only objective is understanding. A lot of people get angry with me saying, Agar main sochunga, to mujhe reading ke liye itna time lagega. Trust me, if you follow this process nicely, it will take the same time as what you will do with your normal approach of first in first word. So let me give an example. If I want to be, let's say, two or three page document. So what I will do is I will do an overview first. Now, what do I mean by overview? I will just glance through it. And if I find something in bold, italic, or anything in different form, font, I will just read it carefully. Rest, I will just have a glance. And if I feel it is important, okay, this is a very important question which a lot of people do not ask to themselves. Is this important to me? Is this relevant for me? Because I get a lot of people saying, hey, I read that book rather than in three hours after the session, I could complete it in one and a half hour. I'm so good at this. And I just ask them, was that required to read that book? Was it help, is it helping you to reach your goals or your learning? If you're reading for pleasure, that's a different ballgame. Okay, let me make a uh, disclaimer out here. If you read for pleasure, then I, my tips, my techniques, don't take it, okay? This is more from a productivity perspective. In pleasure, you start, in pleasure, you start with a mindset that I just want to relax. So <laughs> this entire session is not for you. This is for people who want to be productive, who read a lot of non-fiction, emails, technical documents, and who want to improve on that side. So coming out here, if I'm reading two to three page document, I do an overview, and then I will ask myself an important question. Is this supposed to be read in the first go? If I feel it is important, and based on what importance it is, if it is something that I have to read carefully, I will get in a proper mindset. I will get with something which I can mark on, or if it's a PDF, I can get uh, highlight, highlighter, uh, right click, and you can highlight any PDF document. Select a particular text, do a right click, and you can highlight it. 
so then i will start reading while reading i will mark the important points okay which i feel i should revise it later so once i am done reading i will revise those points and if it is very very important i can make notes of it okay now a lot of people again are still not convinced and they are a lot of angry this is not how you read a book or this is not how you uh, or you say read anything my only thing is i am not removing any step i am just mentally okay trying to give you a step by step process because if you want to do regular things i'm sure you guys are the working professionals okay you guys could relate with it if there is a particular thing make it a department don't try to get one person to do everything and that is what exactly wrong what you are doing with your brain because at the same time you are asking it to do it you are asking it to understand you are asking it to retain you are asking it to not just retain but also recall those are different steps okay i know you will be having a lot of doubts on this concept i would prefer you note it down and i will answer towards the end i will just give you a gist of how i can do or you can do the overview of a book okay that is 250 to 300 non fiction book for the non fiction book what i will do for overview process i will look at the front and back cover i will read everything before the first chapter preface forward note from a author etc etc i will observe the table of contents this is a mistake which a lot of people will do is they will see this table of contents ha huh, it's good and that's it they will go ahead no don't read table of contents observe the table of contents because the entire structure of the book is mentioned out there you won't know what is exactly in that chapter but you will at least know that this chapter is about x y z so please spend a couple of minutes observe the table of contents that itself will give you a structure on how the book is designed read first three to five pages of the first chapter for every chapter i would prefer you read the first paragraph you read anything and everything in different formatting you read the last paragraph you read last three to five pages of the last chapter now this are again these are not the steps which you need to follow step by step these are just the guidelines because your first objective of reading any non fiction book is to create more of a just create more of the summary today we all live a busy life a uh, lot of times what will happen is we will start a book we will read few pages we will get bored and we will push that book away now let me give you an exact scenario that happens to a lot of people you took the book on leadership because you improve because you want to improve your leadership skills okay and let's say you are facing the number one challenge that is procrastination okay procrastination starts at chapter number 7 but because you have been told ki book mein har ek word padhna chahiye that is not a wrong approach okay but priority wise you should ideally go for first chapter number 7 try to understand the gist of it but no why we don't do that because we want to read everything from first line first word let me give you a simple example i would love to for you to uh, keep your audio on after this question and just answer me quickly if i or chintan gets a speaker okay who is very boring like it's boring to the next level forget out his audio video is clear so let's remove the technical aspect but speaker is very boring and it's a 3 hour session will you sit for it Okay, it's a no. session. No, no, no way, no way. Now all these no people way. who are so confident, okay, all these people who are so confidently saying no, okay, are saying no without any guilt also because you will straightforward say it's a boring speaker, you will get away. But if in the same case, if you find a book boring, and if you quit reading it, why the hell you carry that guilt throughout your life? You don't know a way. You're like, no, no, no. I should read each and every part of this book because author has spent so much time. No, the book is boring. It can be okay. Loyalty is with people, not with books. If you find boring, go for other book. Until it's a technical book, there's a very different approach for technical books also. But for other day-to-day -day reading, if you find something boring, you'll find another book which might be interesting. Don't carry that guilt, and it's completely fine to read books half read, okay? Because what happens is if you carry that guilt, that uh, till the time i don't complete this book i will not read other books or is case mena you don't read this books not that books so please if you can put 
go for another books and you can read multiple books at a time there is no rule or there is again i'm repeating write it down or get it in your brain loyalty is with people not with books coming up overview is a glance anytime you read even a two page document three page document the approach is first you take the glance of the entire material you get the gist of it for bigger material you can follow all these steps for smaller materials your mails etc etc you can take just a gist a uh, glance through it then you start reading mark the important points which you feel are important step 3 you will revise or retain now this is an important aspect here is where maximum concentration is required so you have to mentally ready step 3 you will require a lot of focus so at that time get in the right attitude right environment and start learning the important points and finally make notes and the recall what i was talking about the four step recall recall cannot work nicely if you are not in a habit of making notes and i was just listening to session or uh, not session talk before we started our session and you guys had a discussion about note taking so i'm sure chintan can share more about it and the importance of taking notes but from a recall perspective it's very important so uh what's the time now chintan we are 42 we are given a couple of minutes uh, i'm sure a lot of you will have doubts so let's answer that Answer those questions. Until that time, you guys can take a screenshot of this. Anyone who has questions, just on your on you, and I will try my best to answer in next few minutes. Another stage, just a screenshot. This are my top ten books. I hope uh, all the books are visible. Chandu. Yes, they are. Yes, they, they are. are. Yes, they are. Perfect. So, anyone, any question with the four-step process or you read, understand, retain, read for? Who? Sablong is screenshot. Lila Chandan, have you taken the screenshot? I guess you uh, can share it with the team also. Yep. Yes, I did that. Perfect. Uh, so, go ahead. So this is an important question, which let me see uh, how many of you can answer it, and then we are going to have a very fun exercise. Uh, I would prefer all the people who are finding net quality a little bit weaker to get in a good net quality. Try to get near the window or wherever, because this ke baad we'll do an activity which you guys will love. But if your net connection is slow, you might feel a little bit uh, not attached to that activity. So till that time, let me ask you an important question in examination. Which quality of yours is evaluated? Some exam the year, right? So first is retention, second is understanding quality, third is both one and two, fourth is none. In examination, which quality of yours is evaluated? On the audio, let me know the answer. Chandan, you can type in the comments. Let me know what are the answers. People are answering two, two. Okay. A couple of them have said one. One. Many are saying. Three, 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 Check is your recall power. Is your recall power now? Okay. Before you guys get angry, I'm telling you, understanding something nicely, retaining it perfectly will help you to recall faster. Okay. Understanding something nicely, retaining it perfectly will help you to recall faster. But still, it's only the recall that is checked. Okay. If you don't believe that recall is not the thing that is checked in examination. Do a simple activity for me. Go to any examination. You understand the entire concept, okay? You retain it entire concept, but leave the exam paper blank and come back. Will you get any marks? No. Go to a meeting well prepared, okay? Everything your slides are there. Everything is well prepared. You have understood the client requirement. You have retained everything what you want to share, but at this stage, just be blank. Will the client give you the deal? No, because at the moment you should also be able to be calm, and that is a 
thing, which is a very important concept, which we all leave to the chance, because we assume if I have learned something nicely, it will come at the right moment. Trust me, how many of you have faced this scenario? You are like, and he's like, ah, ah, hi, hi, hi. And the person goes away, then you know who this thing was this. I'm sure you guys have faced this scenario, right? The challenge is not with uh, retention. The challenge is at that moment, you weren't able to recall. Now, let me give you an important technique, uh, sort of important principle. If I am you, if I were you, I would write it down and I would differently share it with my kids, cousins, whoever you not want. Because one of the important principles of recall is the state of mind in which you put in the information should be similar state of mind when you want to get it out. The state of mind which you put in the information should be a similar state of mind when you want to get it out. Now, let me tell you what difference or what it exactly means. Let's say tomorrow is an examination or three months down is an examination. What I will do is while attention, I'm very relaxed. Okay, I'm just on my bed, I'm trying to retain it, I'm focusing. No challenges. I'm focusing, I'm retaining. But mentally, the state of mind is very relaxed. In examination, the state of mind is exactly opposite. I'm stressed, I just have three hours, I need to justify my six months effort in those three hours. And if I don't do that, there is a lot of pressure. Trust me, now the state of mind is exactly opposite in which I was learning. So the important aspect is, once you are done retaining anything, especially for kids, I would request you all to ask them to spend five minutes and try to recall everything. Just write down the bullet points. Just recall quickly within five minutes. Now the timing is important. You need to give some kind of stress because if you ask them to recall at their own speed, in examination they will fall down. So you need to create as, as close to environment as is possible. I'm sure a lot of you have experienced the power of visualization. You guys have seen yourself delivering awesome talk or doing a beautiful client presentation and you guys are able to do it if you visualize it better. What is visualization? Visualization is also in a way you're trying to recall. You're mentally creating the same state of mind where you want to get the information out. So trust me, I can go on a couple of hours for recall, but right now I just want you to consider that recall is an important step and the state of mind in which you put in the information should be similar state of mind when you want to get it out. So this is all about recall. Now let me give you an important speed reading principle. Now one of the beautiful aspects of speed reading is um, you do it, you get it. You don't do it, you will not get it. No matter how beautifully I try to explain it, if you don't practice, you will not get it. Whereas in this four-step process, this recall, this retention, it's more about understanding. But speed reading techniques are more about practice. Can you see evidence and see this software, accelerator.com? Chantal, is it visible? Yes, it is. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, perfect. So, can you see this text also? If I click on begin, can everyone see this text? Yes, 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 yes. Awesome. Yeah. Now, you can copy paste anything what you want to read out here. Okay. Right now, I'm setting the reading speed at let's say 200 words. I'm releasing the jump signs and making it forward. Uh, I would prefer for all the people who do not have a strong net connection, try to get in a good net connection. Okay. Now just I will just let it run. You just tell me at the end of I, I should I think it should take around 30 to 25 seconds. At the end of it, were you able to read it or not? Thank you. 
per device equal to dnet just on your audio let me know yes 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 okay yes. let me do one more test Many of you are able to read it. I was able to read it. Yes. Awesome. Yes. 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 Not much. Okay. All the people who are saying yes, let me have one more challenge for you. On the best, three, two, one, go. Easy? Yeah. No. <laughs> okay. Let everyone let's me at my reading speed. This is on an average oh, nine hundred wow. words per minute. Let's try to read it. Easy? No. Only few words. <laughs> Only few words here and there. Uh, quickly, uh, everyone has just made a note of the software. It's accelerator.com. Just make a note of it, and uh, yeah, I will then explain you what the concept is all about. Now, the technique what we saw is known as speed drill. Now, what is speed drill? Okay, speed drill is. It's like reading subtitles with 4x speed. Okay, yeah, almost like that. So speed drill is a beautiful way. If you practice reading for 30 minutes, 30 minutes per day, okay, seven days, just 30 minutes per day. Worst case scenario, your reading speed will be doubled. What is the worst case scenario? Your reading speed will be doubled. Double. Now, yeah, would you? Are you happy with the worst case scenario, or do you want something more? Happy with the worst case scenario? Yes. <laughs> Super. Okay. So now what you want, what I want you all is to just trust me for the next five minutes. Okay. You can hate me all you want. Okay. I have, I have no issues with that. Okay. But trust is important because I'm going to do some activity almost on the same lines where I'm sure your eyes will pain. Okay. I'm sure your brain will be like, what the hell is going on? So all those things are going to happen. But just bear with me for five minutes because at the end of five minutes, you'll see some change in your reading speed. Some change. Come on, I do this activity for 45 minutes in an entire session. You're just going to do here for five minutes. And in that itself, you will realize is the change working or not. So first of all, did you see that software in that? You can copy paste anything what you wish. I'm just copy pasting a different text because you guys are now so used to reading that text. Okay, I'm taking a short text itself. Okay, it is just around 300 words. I'm copying it. I'm coming back to the browser. I'm sharing my screen now. Sharing the screen. Yes, I'm ready to share. I go back to the reader. I will hide this on children's recommendation. Thank you so much. Can you see my screen? Yeah. yeah. Okay, this is a text box. You can copy anything, your mails, your PDF, your documents. Just do copy paste and then click on begin. Now, these are the settings option, which I carefully want you to understand. Okay, first is reading speed. Okay, what is the reading speed you want to read? On an average, you guys can start anywhere from 150 to 250 words per minute. See what is your comfort level. 
chunk size is how many words you will see at a time then the width and row font size font color everything 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 is just basic word options right now there is a important one more concept in speed reading which is known as chunking which uh different i'm not sharing out here because it takes an hour just for the chunking part so for now just remember to tick all these boxes okay just it would make your reading easier it does not change anything just tick all the boxes and if you also want certain key certain words which convey no additional meaning like do o and you can just click and those will never show in your text now we are reading 269 words at 900 words per minute okay all set i'm sure your eyes are going to pay your head is will feel like is going to explode but i want you to read but not understand i want you to read but not understand so your job is basically just to see the words and just see them just try to identify okay you hey are just just try to understand uh, so you not understand just see them am i clear with the activity activity is just to see the words what is the activity every see the words see the words it's yeah. not understanding i do not want and and someone telling me i could not see all the words because i was trying to understand that is not even an object the object is just to see are we clear let's go easy no yes uh, little difficult <laughs> little difficult no okay this is a question here i have mentioned around 300 words but here it is showing me only 269 words why some common words were skipped you you selected exactly words. in settings we selected Ooh. this if i remove it oh, then now you will see it's close to 25 words Let's go to the end. Okay. Is your help paying? Are your eyes are like what the hell is going on? Yeah. It's good. That means you are doing this activity in a right way. Okay. Let's do it again. Focus. Focus on the words. I don't want you to understand. Just focus. Just focus on the words. Just try to see. Okay, there are some words, and get your eyes used to that speed. Just focus. Just focus. Awesome. Easy to understand. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Let's make it easier. Easy. Yes. Easy. Comparatively easy. easy. Now, what I would request you is also try to understand what you are reading. I'm sure few of you cannot let go of that old habit. Who are also trying to comprehend at 900 words per minute. Now I'm trying. Now I'm telling you, try to focus and make sense of what you are reading. Are you all set? Three, two, one. We go.
How is it? Confusing, difficult, easy. 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 Let's do it for the last time. Three, two. Now here, you please try to make sense of what you're doing. Three, two, one, go. How was it? Better. Mm -hmm. Good one. Good one? Okay. For all the people who are now in like 300 goals is good, I can understand some part of it. 300 is the extreme of a normal reading speed. On an average, you get a reading speed of 150 to 250 words per minute. I was able to make you comfortable at 300 words per minute. Now, any smart person can tell me how did I do that. It's not difficult. Everything happened in the what exactly I went through. You, started, went you started at a very high, you started us off at a very high speed. So at 900, we were feeling uncomfortable. Exactly. So after that, I think, you know, after going through that level of torture, pretty much uh, everything else feels better. So I guess that was one part of the drill. There could have been other techniques. So one of the important aspect of speed will it's just training your eyes to identify things at faster rate, not understanding. Understanding is a part where you will take in the session. There is a process known as chunking that will help you to speed up the understanding. But close to, okay, you can just identify words at double the rate what you're doing right now. Speed was changed in between. Of course, I uh, try to took it down from 900, 800 so that your brain is quite used to the change also. So important aspect of speed drill is just to train your eyes to see things at a faster speed. That's it, nothing more. Just to identify object at faster speed. And all you have to do is lean back in your chair, click on new text in that software, just copy paste anything and try to just see at 3x of your present reading speed. 3x. So, for example, if you're comfortable at 200 words per minute, what speed you will uh, try to do speed drill at? 600 words per minute. 600. Exactly. So, if you're comfortable at 250, it will be 750. Only my suggestion is if you're already at 400, don't try to go about 1000 because uh, about 1000 uh, somewhere I don't find the software that good. So, restrict it to 1000. Just do it for 15 minutes. Don't try to reduce the speed. Just sit back, see anything you want to read. Just copy, paste, just bring it back in your chair and just see at 900, 800, 600, whatever 3x your year is. And after seven days, just see the change in your reading speed. Okay. Those 30 minutes is not your reading time. Okay. Those 30 minutes are just practicing. You will not comprehend at 600 or 3x of your reading speed. Objective is not comprehension. Objective is just seeing and trying to get used to it. Definitely, there is one more method. I don't know if anyone has research about uh, speed reading. There is one more method known as chunking that takes care of how to improve your understanding power also. But even without that, if you just do speed drill for seven days, 30 minutes per day, worst case scenario is your reading speed is going to get doubled. And trust me, whatever I share, it's not as for my experience, it's as for the data what I always have. So trust me, that is going to be a beautiful journey and the technique is going to speed drill.
So this is where I pause. This is where exactly what I have promised I have shared. I'm sure you guys have a lot of questions. You guys are a lot of curious. Some people are skeptic, does this work? Or is this trying to fool us? All those questions, I would love to answer it. Just a quick session, a uh, quick uh, thing. I'm just sharing my phone number because a lot of you, and I love to stay in touch with everyone whom I train. I started training five years back and I'm in touch with all those people till now. So what I do is just to stay in touch. Uh, I share short inspiring stories on WhatsApp. Okay, I'm sure Chintan was talking about the same thing. Chintan, can you just briefly tell them what kind of stories I share? Yeah, so these stories are mainly they have a social message. Uh, they are inspiring stories. Uh, these stories are uh, stories or uh, excerpts from uh, well-known books by famous authors, uh, the incidents, what they have uh, narrated. And uh, it is, uh, you can read it in uh, less than two minutes time. Yeah. Uh, without so, speed reading. And with speed <laughs> reading, probably you can read it in 30 seconds. OK, so that's my whole objective. That's my phone number. If anyone wants to get those short inspiring story twice a week, just let me know your name and stories. It's 8286-211-823. That, uh, uh, that is my number. So I would love to stay in touch. So that is my way of adding more value in your life and staying in touch with you guys. So uh, I would love to see a lot of you on WhatsApp coming. Just WhatsApp me your name and stories. Uh, so that's it. I am now opening up to questions. I'm sure you thanks, guys have thanks, questions. Thanks, Rupert. Uh, so yeah. I would request uh, participants to kindly put on their video while they are asking the question so that at least we can see each other face to face and uh, Rupert can answer your question. Uh, thank you so much. The floor is open for questions. Who would like to go first? Please uh, put on your video and uh, share your question. Uh, hi Rupak, this is Gokhale here. Uh, I am uh, a reader. You know, I used to read uh, novels at the speed which you mentioned earlier on. But off late, you know, I've become a lazy bum. Uh, so okay. My speeds have reduced. I just wanted, mm -hmm. out of curiosity, whether the same technique can also be applied for uh, regional languages uh, reading also. Okay. Or so. In my experience, it has been working, but on the scale, what I have done for English language, the research, the training, I don't have enough to back it up. So trust me, the process and the principle will work. But if you try to pinpoint me and ask me a question, uh, I would like to say I do not have enough expertise for it. But trust me, in my experience, a lot of people have benefited in Hindi, uh, Marathi, and Gujarati. At least these three languages, I have seen people getting results. Other languages, I am not an expert to comment. So, and the reason why I asked you this question is pretty simple. You know, as a natural uh, human tendency, uh, let's say my mother tongue happens to be yeah. Tamil, uh, I start uh, reading uh, English, and then instantaneously at the back of my mind, there is a thread that runs and it automatically translates into. Tamil, and that's how I try to uh, understand and con conceptualize the entire uh, a topic, right? So maybe uh, if just at all, a second, uh, just a second, a lot of people, just a lot of people are saying thank, uh, thanks, and uh, etc. So I'm grateful for Chantan and everyone for this session. I would love to stay in touch with you. I already shared my numbers, so would love to be in touch with you all. So please WhatsApp me your name and stories, and trust me for next five years, I'm not going to stop. I will just keep on sharing and adding value in your life. So thank you so much for attending. I know Panahar is a big time, so thank you so much. And over to you, Gokhes. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, the same thing, you know, I was just uh, continuing on the same question, like, you know, we normally have the tendency to read in English and then, you know, at the back of my mind, you translate that into whatever is your mother tongue and that's how you try to understand the gist of uh, uh, yeah. the entire context, right? Uh, maybe if at all this technique helps you in even you know, reading in your mother tongue, uh, maybe some content in your mother tongue, automatically directly goes into that, at least one transliteration phase is... Uh, Avoid it. So yeah. uh, I, I, I guess I think it should be beneficial even if you try to use the same technique even for uh, uh, other languages other than uh, uh, maybe, you know, English. In sure. case you have any data, I'll, I'll be happy if you can share that information with me. Uh, so sorry, sir. I don't have enough data. I have a lot of people who have said it has helped. And 
that's the only thing I have never done on preaching that it can help you on regional language also. But the psychology wise, on a theory, on paper, it makes sense that it should help. But how much it will help, what percentage it will help, uh, I cannot comment on it. But it works. Thank you very much. Yeah. So, Rupa, this is Biren. Uh, Hi, Biren. How are you? Yeah, yeah, fine, fine. Uh, yeah. You exercise like from 900 to 300 instead of from 300 to 900, generally what we have. So I cannot understand why this technique, my from 900 is a very uh, higher speed to a lower a 300. So the whole objective, uh, what the, you say, the example what you're giving is more of a frog in a boiling water, right? If I increase uh, one degree, one degree at a time, frog won't realize it. But my challenge, the only thing is I want your brain to feel that shift. And when you're going to practice, when you're going to practice, I want you to make your brain feel tired. At 900, it is going to feel tired. And that is what I am. I want at 3x. And that is why when you practice speed drill at home, you're not going to increase or decrease. You're, be, you're going to be consistent at 300, uh, sorry, 3x of your reading speed. So that is not going to change. So my whole objective is once I show you what 900 looks like, then it makes sense for you guys to uh, get back to 300. So that is why I will always prefer having a drastic jump rather than step by step jump because the results are also drastic. I told you within seven days, it will be easier for you to see 2x of your reading speed and that's a big number. So please uh, don't try to go 1x or 2x, whatever. Speed drill works beautifully. So I will always prefer you go 3x. Only. Okay. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Yeah. It's a great session. Thank you so much. Next question. Uh, hi, Rupal. This is Shazia here. Uh, I, missed, I missed one part of it. What I mean to say is you have to read at 900 words, uh, at the speed of 900 words per minute for the continuous one week. Not you, you don't have to read. You have to just sit back and see at 900 words per minute. Yes not 900, it should be 3x of your present reading speed. So for example, if you're comfortable reading at 200 words per minute, you can go to that software, copy paste any text and see what speed you're comfortable at. If you're comfortable at 200, then for you, it becomes 600. Okay. Uh, and my next question is, uh, yeah. so what uh, technique I follow right now for my reading is, I normally complete a book in 20 to 25 days. So even with that, uh, I feel it's with the number of books and the amount of knowledge out there, I feel it's quite less because in a year I would be able to complete only around, you know, 14 to 15 books, yeah. which is quite less. So what I do is, you know, once I get a book, I divide it into the number of pages and the number of days I want to complete it. I put on my bookmark so that, you know, I'm completely forced to read that stuff uh, on and complete it by that particular day. I, in fact, even write down the dates on those bookmarks so do you do anything of that sort or it's just you know random reading how you finish two to three books a week yeah so um i used to do that when i used to start but right now um, i finish a book in a couple of days so for me the goal setting and all those things actually might end up taking more time uh but uh, for all the people i would definitely love that you have a weekly goal uh not daily goal because sometimes if you miss it you might end up being in that guilt mode so have a weekly goal of finishing, uh, let's say 150 pages. And that's okay if you get bored with a book, you can get for a different book also. And unless you have a particular reason for reading it, any exam or any upgradation you want to do. So I would prefer rather than a daily, having a weekly goal, because if you miss it for a day, it's very easy to follow it up and you don't get stressed uh, every day. But uh, if you are a person, again, goal setting is something which is very personal. For few, it might work. Yeah. For few, it might not work. See what is working best for you. If this is what is working best, I would just share one more technique of speed reading that might help you can apply it because you are already in that mindset. So for example, if you uh, are able to read, let's say 15 pages in 15 minutes. Okay, that is what okay. you have seen. I want you to yeah. now keep a goal of reading 17 pages, one seven. This is known as creating a sense of urgency. The uh, moment you create a little bit sense of urgency, you of course start focusing more on the material and your focus on distraction reduces because you are a constant that you have to finish it in this time. So 
that is yeah. known as sense of urgency. So you can experiment with that. Try to find that sweet uh, sweet spot. It should not stress you too much. That you are overwhelmed, mm-hmm. but at the same time, it should not make you feel relaxed. Okay. Thank you. So, Thank you so much. It was a wonderful session, Bhupat. I'm glad really you like. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, uh, this is Ashish here. I ha- I think somebody had even put it on a chat. How do you yeah. identify your current speed? So uh, current speed, uh, what we do is you can definitely there are a lot of softwares online. Just type uh, uh, how to check my current reading speed. You will get a lot of results. Or else it's very simple. Uh, for example, if you are reading, so what we do in the session for our session, we share the PDF which has the words mentioned at the end, around six hundred words, and we time it. And we have a sheet that automatically tells you if you read three hundred words in let's say two minutes thirty seconds, this is your present reading speed. So one uh, first, but at this level, what I would suggest is go on Google, just type, I want uh, check your reading speed. And there are a lot of softwares like Accela Reader. Accela Reader works in a little bit different way, but there are a couple of more software. One, if I'm not mistaken, it was Reading Soft. Or you guys want, we can just see it right now till the time. Uh, we, we are answering other questions. We can do it right now. We can try to identify which will work for you. Yeah. Till that time, I can answer one more question. Yeah. Thank. Hi, Rupak. This is Pranal here. Yeah, Pranal. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Am I audible? Yeah. Reading yes, software. Yes, yeah yeah so uh, i have two questions actually uh, first yeah. one is uh, when uh, one is preparing uh, for the uh, academics or professional exams uh, the retention yeah. uh, is also the important part uh, as well uh, with the, with the reading perfect so uh, for that yeah. can you suggest something more uh just a second i'm just copy pasting it's readingsoft.com okay everyone thanks so thanks you so much out here, yeah you can just click on start once you want to start reading and end just click stop it will show you the reading speed that good good thank you so much yeah. perfect so yeah it's reading soft ha huh. coming to your question uh, so first retention works in a very different way uh, as compared to your reading speed and understanding uh, definitely i have an entire course also on that but the basic principle of retention is just remember this three principles and check couple of Techniques on Google. It's very difficult for me to share entire thing right now. Uh, so sorry, my screen has frozen. So I don't know why it is happening. Uh, yeah. So, anyways, so first is remember it's I C U. So anything you want to remember, uh, keep it on three simple things. First, you need to uh, imagine it. Whatever you want to remember, you need to imagine it. You need to connect it with something what you already know. And you have to make that connection unrealistic. So, trust me, what I'm going to say is not going to make sense for you right now. But just remember it: three principle on which every retention thing works is I C U. It's imagination, it's connection, it's unrealistic. And couple of techniques. I'm sure one of the techniques you guys already have a session, which is known as mind map. Okay. okay. So uh, that is a technique that will help you. Even in mind map, they will help you to identify the key words. and then retain the keywords so first is mind map second is fish bone okay fish bone and uh, these are the two techniques that will definitely help you to retain more but i would always uh, prefer for you uh, to get in any retention course not specifically mind any retention course because more important rather than the technique is the mindset in how you go about approaching it and trust me that will help you a lot uh even there is a story mode there are a lot of different different everyone has their own uh we'll say uh commercialized method with trying to get that ip but if you get the understanding right of any retention trust me it will be very easy but if you see overall any technique you will learn it will break down to ic and you everything about retention is based on imagination connection and how you make that connection or imagination and the aesthetic so these are the three things even mind map is a way because you don't usually make uh, notes in that way different the mind map is way how our brain processes the information but how you make it unrealistic is because that is not a traditional way of making notes so that is why it becomes easy to for you to comprehend yeah so so sorry panel um, that will require entire session but just to give you just 
yeah and another question was also relating to this that uh, mm -hmm. if the uh, major time of the day uh, is being spent uh, for the academics or the professional courses books or the notes then yeah. uh, the time duration for the other part of the reading for example right now i am uh, reading ikigai book which is the japanese text yeah japanese yeah so, uh, is there any specific time slot that i should decide uh, after the uh, studies or before the studies which will help uh, okay. in focusing bo in both uh, in studies as well as the other uh, reading uh, habits okay so uh, one important aspect is uh, this is again this is a personal thing uh, i would not try to give you any specific steps uh, what i will do is i would love to do is you get back and see what your goals are because if you are reading apart from your technical books you are you should be reading for a purpose okay so let's say if you want to improve your leadership skills still what time you want to do it fill what area if you guys more about happiness right if i'm not mistaken yeah. yes yes so what is the example what are you wanting and in that way it should uh, go other way around so that is why i call the session as velocity reading because the reading should take you in a direction what you want okay difference between speed and velocity velocity has a direction speed does not have a direction speed can be in any way but velocity is in a particular direction what is your goal okay in your life that is something and i don't know if you guys are interested chintan i can give you access to my uh, velocity reading course at a very nominal price so if in case anyone is interested just ping me on whatsapp I will give access to my e-course. Uh, let's let's do it other way around. Panel, I will give you access to both my courses at very nominal price. So if you are interested, just ping me. Yeah, so, please offer please offer super discounts to members of TMI. So I can give you at five hundred bucks my reading course, my uh, reading how to build reading habit course, and how to retain anything. I can give you three e-courses just at five hundred bucks. So if anyone is interested, five hundred is because I will have to pay something to Udemy also. So in that case, I have to do for it. So three courses are just five hundred bucks. In case you want any one, uh, still the price uh, I will allow to keep it same. So I prefer you take and you can share that login with anyone you want. So at five hundred bucks, I will give you reading. I will give you how to create a reading habit. Trust me, that's an entire course in itself. How to create a reading habit, how to read faster, and how to retain anything what you read. So these are three courses. I would love to give you at just five hundred bucks. But that's I did not do a pitching for it because that's not my goal of doing. But in case if you feel uh, you have my number, Chintan, uh, you guys have shared my number, right? Yeah, sure, definitely. So uh, alternatively, uh, I am the common person in various TMI groups and entire community. So please feel yeah. free to reach out to me, and I'll be happy to make a list. Of people who'd like to subscribe to the course and then uh, pass it on to the group of a group, so that it doesn't get locked down. So feel free to uh, share your requirement with me on a DM, and then I'll be happy to ask. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. We love to do that. It was so that. nice to have you, Rupak, today, and thank you so much. I'll definitely join for the retention course. See you soon. Awesome. Take care. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Great. Who goes next? Uh, next question, please. Okay, let me do the way we do it in our uh, community. Yeah, we go alphabetically and check with all. And uh, Aradeji, hey Kajal. Okay, Kajal has got a question. Go ahead, Kajal. Kajal, uh, I can't mute. hear you. You are on mute. Kajal, you are on mute. No. No, we are not able to hear you yet. Just try no, to log no. in and log off. That should help you. At that time, we are here. We are not going anywhere. <laughs> no, we are not able to hear you. So, your time, Kajal, fix it. I have a question. Yeah. Go ahead. Thank you so much, Rubak. Uh, much appreciated. Could totally different way of thinking. I think the 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 para that you force us to you know read was a meaningful in itself because it it sends a message out. Right. We need to change the way we have. Kind of you know uh, educated ourselves, right? So again, thank you for taking time. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So the first question that I have, you know, while we do um, you know initial kind of a reading, there yeah. could be certain words in depends upon what you are reading and your vocab and all that. How? Yeah. What is your guidance in managing that kind of a situation where you are stuck because you are not able to at least even you know take it in the first statement of it? Certain word you are stuck. Should you stop with the uh, dictionary, or what is your uh, you know, suggestion there? 
Okay. Uh, how many of you remember I shared four step process? Which one was the which was the first step? Overview. Exactly. Now it is overview. We are glancing through the material. While you are glancing, I want you to identify the words which are difficult for you to comprehend. Trust me, it's not difficult. If you just glance through it quickly, you can identify. I don't know the meaning of this. I don't know the meaning of this. I don't know the meaning of this. Get the meaning of them before and then start reading. So that once you start, you don't get stuck. And you want to know how did I get this idea? I got this idea from legal documents. I don't know how many of you have observed them carefully. In all the legal documents, the first page is all about common defin uh, definition of the words which are used again and again and again. They give it in the first page itself. And then once you start reading, you should not feel stuck. So this is on the lines. Um, again, if you are someone uh, who uh, would love to start reading first. I would just like you to make the sense of the sentence with the meaning of it rather than trying to identify the meaning of the difficult word at that time. And to be honest, it's very necessary. And trust me, out of 10 words, it will be only once or twice where it will be very necessary to pause and go for its meaning, or else you won't comprehend anything. That's the only time. Because when you are trying to understand a new word, you are going more in a retention mode, okay? Understanding and retention mode. While reading, I want you to be purely focused just in understanding. So, and right now, a lot of people check on Google and trust me, one thing leads to another. You are on Facebook, LinkedIn. Uh, I, don't, I wish I could I could say Tinder, but you guys are, I don't know which platform you are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Got it. Yeah. How to balance between education book and general book. Uh, can you read that question, Chidna? Yeah, sure. So, yeah. how to balance it between education book along with general or story book? Advice for a student. Okay. Um, so, usually what I do is I um, read three books at a time. Out of that, one is going to be story book where the objective is not understanding. Okay. Objective is just, uh, what do you say, just having fun. There is no speed reading out there. There is nothing. And a couple of books are where it's a goal set or a work requirement. Now, what happens is uh, when I want to do a leisure reading, I will go for that book. When I want to do a very productive, I will go for that book. So what I would suggest is as per the mood of the day, in a way, if it's your child or if it's for you, try to identify which part of the day the child is tired. And at that time, try to give a fiction book or a story book. Because if you do it on his highly productive time, you might lose out his best concentration time, which could have gone to reading to a storybook. And then at his worst, you're trying to tell him to study. It will backfire. And then the guy and then the child will start hating read, hating the reading activity. And you are like, Abhi because you did not change your parenting style. So, but we love to blame others rather than to ourselves. Yeah. Are the similar tools uh, for velocity or speed listening? Uh, on an average, I listen any video at 2.5x, 2 to 2.5x. About that, it's difficult for me to comprehend. So any YouTube video, if you watch it in 40 minutes, uh, I can do it in 20 minutes or 15 or 17 minutes. So yes, uh, improving your reading speed also improves listening speed. And I can share more, but it's not an e-course in itself. Those are just a few techniques which you should keep in mind. So yeah, that's it. Great, thanks. Uh, Arunji, Ashish, Saxena, Atul Kadam, Baiju, any questions? Uh, none, none from my side, Chindanbar. I just want to say it was a great session. Thank you very much. Uh, as somebody has already mentioned out over here, this will help me you know, uh, speed up my reading list. And uh, to what Debraj had just asked, uh, something similar, which you know I used to do was something like this. That if I'm re reading Fountainhead by Anne Ryan, yeah. no, it's too heavy a it's book, a very, right? It's a very it's small a, book. It's just 600 book. pages. Yeah, 600 <laughs> pages book. Yeah. But no, at that point in time, it was too heavy to understand its philosophy. So I would you know, read some part of it, drop it, and then go back and read James Hadley Chase in between. So by the time I finished up my Fountainhead, I completed four James Hadley Chase in between. <laughs> so that is how I would be, you know, doing it. Uh, but yeah, I, 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 over a period of time, my reading habit has gone down. I'm trying to pick it up. And Rupak, thank you very much. Chindama, thank you very much for this session. I really loved it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Birenbhai, Chandar, Dev, Firdosji, 
uh, you started with the how to save the time half an hour yeah so how can we increase that the saving in the time so uh, from a reading perspective or in general you are asking what was your the theme what was the, your object that the telling so objective the is uh, if you calculate all your reading time it easily your whatsapp your mails everything that goes to at least 60 minutes per day and if you are able to double up your reading speed that saves you 30 minutes per day that's my objective of it okay fine yeah thank you that was a yeah. good shot and excellent thank you so much sir thank you francis guru prasad hardi harshad Hital, Indvin. Hi, sir. Hey, hi, Kajal. Yeah, we can hear you now. Yes. Yeah, put on your camera yes. so we are able to see you. I can't see myself, but I hope you can see me. Okay. Yeah, we can. can we you. can. Yeah, yeah, we okay. are able to see you. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Great. Great. Hi, Rupak. So, hi. um, I, I, um, I've never, I was never much of a reader because uh, of uh, a lot of. Uh, academic books in my life i still do have them so you know i belong to the law and legal and taxation background on a very uh, massive scale yeah. uh, but uh, i think uh, out of the three things that you told uh, i c and u uh, which one is anchored like which is the anchor which uh, come back to you when you are trying to actively recall that thing so the anchor will always be the unrealistic thing because you don't forget unrealistic things so okay, whenever you want so to that... retain you meet the connection as unrealistic definitely there is a method uh, which is known as you get into uh, a room okay and you anchor everything with the particular steps there is memory palace it is known as so in a way it's a very different technique altogether but anchoring will always be about some connection or how you have made that connection unrealistic so the anchor of pulling something back will be something that you have made it unrealistic or something you have connected it with a very day to day thing so in mind map you connect everything to a particular room uh, so not mind map so in mind memory palace you connect everything to a particular room if anyone has seen sherlock holmes uh, he uses uh his memory palace to retain everything so okay yeah okay no, the series no i haven't seen but yeah my siblings are a fan of him so yeah. uh, can you give me like one small example like for example if i have to retain something about uh, labor no nee, something something very genuine like something normal normal no yeah. any 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 example so first so of all you need to first of all you need to understand you cannot remember there is no memory technique in this world that will help you to retain anything word by word okay so your first objective should be identifying the anchored keywords now what are anchored keywords the moment i remember the word chintan i connect him with tmi or it can be other way around for others so you need to identify ye paragraph ye point ye ye concept me say which is that word if i recall that word my entire paragraph or entire my let's say law example or the um, i don't know whatever it is i could recall it so for example you need to identify those anchor keywords first okay and then any memory technique will help you to remember those anchor keywords now if you want specific something to the numbers and the law number and all those things we have a separate memory technique uh, which will help you to do that So, are you giving that in that course of yours because i'm anyway yeah, going to be a part of it yeah, yeah yeah so in that course we have mentioned in fact i have got someone uh, from to do that course with me he is a ca by itself shrinivas he is also quite active in this space and uh, he has also delivered some part of it because i know when it comes to remember the numbers and the law ca and law students would love to see a similar face rather than me from engineering background so even i have taken his help in that course Okay, that's nice. Okay, cool. Then I'll see you in sure. the virtual class. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah, it's an e-course, but uh, my number is already shared with you all. So feel free I, to. I I I've noted it down. Yes, yeah. yes. And and we are kind of uh, buddies via the TMI community. Thanks to Chintan sir. So we always have each other to ring or call whenever we have something in our mind. Sure, I'd like to apologize for all. I am not a great active in TMI because right now I have eleven thousand people who get my stories. So touch me by WhatsApp is little bit, but I hope Chintan, whenever you call, we get in touch. So at least I'm not disappointing you out there. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Yes, thank you, thank you so much. You are always you. Uh, all away for all team my members. Uh, yeah. So uh, thank, thanks, and let's thank go you, to the next set of people. Uh, Hital, Inveen, Jamshid, Joy, Ms. Karun Sharma, Pranav Pushkar Raj, Ramesh Chandra Joshi, Santosh Koshalkar, Saurabh, Tejas, Uh, Rupak, a quick question. Do you suggest vocalization? Or vocalization uh, in retention, yes, while reading. No. Thanks. Yeah. Hi, Karun. Uh, Karun, sir, I guess, I don't know, do you remember? No, that's not Karun Sharma. I, don't know. I thought I see your family of fees, which I see a long back. So, Karun Sharma, are you here from a uh, coaching group? Which we were part of long back when I started my training journey. I don't so yeah. Anyways, I don't think he's able to listen to us. Yeah. I think she's on mute. Okay, fine. So uh, so we come towards the end of this session and I would request Krishna Kumar. Uh, Krishna Kumar are there? Yeah, Chandan. Yeah, so I would request if you can extend vote of thanks on behalf of PMI community. On behalf of all of us to work, uh, that would be really great. Oh, sure, Chintan, and that would be a pleasure. So, first of all, uh, I must confess that I had uh, book phobia or whatever you call bibliophobia or whatever. Yeah. Now, post this session, I've developed the courage to look for a book. Honestly, I have uh, loads of books. Right now, I'm in transit, so all my books are in the warehouse. Okay. So even at home, I think there should be some books here and there in some bag. And uh, I think now I've got the courage to go and hunt for a book. And I think that's a great uh, takeaway, great success personally for me. And uh, I'm very happy to see that uh, lots of people who were, you know, were receiving the inputs and feeling very happy. And uh, there were points in time when I felt, you know, I was also not alone. I thought, you know, only I had this issue of uh, slow reading or avoiding, trying to avoid the books. I could, of course, read, uh, you know, kind of technical books. If it's a C++ kind of a book, I would finish it overnight. But if it's anything, you know, very general, and uh, I don't know, I may never start it or start I mean, finish it kind of a thing. So well, thank you very much. And uh, I think uh, the way you presented with kind of scientific support and some of the tools that you introduced to us, Accelerate and all that, Think going to be greatly helpful and i'm going to subscribe uh, for your course yes. and so uh, definitely on behalf of all of us i would like to thank you rupa uh, for this wonderful session and uh, thank you chintan for you know getting rupa for this fantastic evening thank you chintan thank you rupa. thank you so much thanks rupa for spending uh, uh, your time i mean helping us to enhance our reading speed Thank you so much. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for joining in. Thanks, Krishna Kumar, for the vote of thanks. Uh, have a great, have a great Saturday evening and Sunday ahead. Thank you so much. We look forward to meet you in our next webinar, which is on uh, relearning how to manage stress. So we look forward to meet you next Saturday. Uh, we have an excellent speaker who would, uh, I mean, teach us how to manage stress. So see you there uh, on next Saturday, same time at 5 p.m. Thank you so much. Have a great evening ahead. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, Rupak. Thank you, guys. Bye -bye. Thank you very Bye. much. Bye-bye. Thank you.